<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Real Reapers. This is Blake. This is Roger. And this is Josh. This week we're taking a look at The Menu, directed by Mark Malad, written by Seth Rice and Will Tracy. Starring Ralph Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, John Leguizamo, Hong Chow, and Janet McTeer. A young couple travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. The movie starts, we have a whole bunch of people that apparently have paid a lot of money to go eat at this, like, once-in-a-lifetime type opportunity. Yeah, culinary event of sorts. Remote island, almost like a secret society type thing. There's not a lot of fat with this movie. It's just not. The script was ex- expertly written. We basically went to the movie theater, sat down, and just watched something that was spectacular, is the summary of it. Just from watching the trailer, it was something I knew I'd be into. But I will have to say this. The trailer doesn't show you anything, which I love. That's phenomenal. Hey, quit showing the whole movie in the trailer. Thank you. Yeah, our main protagonist, Margot, she did a phenomenal job. Even Nicholas Holt uh, that played Tyler, he did amazing. His character uh, was written as super annoying, but he, he nailed that. I think one of my favorite characters in the film was Elsa. Played by uh, Hong Chow. Oh, yeah. From the first time she steps on the film, it's like no-nonsense bullshit. She just cuts the chase and keeps it on point the entire time. And that's she actually sets the pace of what the film's going to be because throughout the film, it follows that pace. Like, there's nothing wasted in this film. There's no fat on it. It's just straightforward. We're going, going, going. And she, throughout her whole part, throughout the whole movie, she keeps giving you undertones of being ominous yet subtle. And getting those two in equal parts is rare. Subtle, maybe. Very direct, though. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) She pulled zero punches in the film, which was awesome. I don't feel like anything was really overused. Even Ralph himself, everything was just perfectly set out. And he, at least to me, gave a fine portrayal between genius and madness because like the old saying goes there's a thin line between the two and he displayed that perfectly the whole film has an interesting look at our society in general and the obsession doubt obsession doubt greed lust i mean you want the seven deadly sins it's in this yes. movie i don't want to say too much about this film just because you guys need to go watch it but for me, hands down, with it being unique, coming out of nowhere, and just truly... Knocking it out of the park? I was going to say, just being delicious all the way across the menu itself. Yeah. From appetizer to dessert, I was pleased. I'd give this all day five size. Oh, yeah, you can cut me up five servings of this all day, five for me. Yeah, I uh, hate to have us all agree for once, but I'm going to say it's going to be a five scythe for me, too. Yeah, I'll want every dish that they offered up in seconds, please. Yes. And it left, I don't know if either one of you noticed it, but for me, it left room for a prequel, which is rare for movies like this, because the more you find out during the movie, I wanted to know what came before. How did this all get put together? You know, he didn't just meet his, I guess, assistant chefs or whatever. He didn't meet them by accident. Everything was done deliberately. So I got to know, how did he crawl into being he, who he used to be into a mad genius? I have to know that journey. I'm on the fence with that. I wouldn't mind watching it. I mean, if I found out they were going to do a prequel, I'd be on board instantly just because it was that good. But I almost feel like it's just so great. Let's just leave it at that. Which you could. Yeah. True. One last thing I do want to mention, though. I didn't really have a film that I like to watch every year specifically for Thanksgiving, but this is it. Yeah, this is it. 
perfect movie for that. The Menu should be your Thanksgiving movie. Yeah, hands down. The Menu is my Thanksgiving movie. I wanted to say that I liked how they portrayed the chef because I don't know about y'all personally, but even throughout watching the whole movie, even though he is supposed to be the quote unquote villain, like I still had like a soft spot for him. Like it made me feel sorry for him in a way. His character was extremely interesting because it wasn't just a single dynamic going on. Right. There was a lot of layers. Yeah. And he was one of those villains that you could tell he didn't start out as a villain. He became the villain. I, not to spoil anything in the film, but we keep saying he's the villain. I don't think he is. I don't necessarily. It, it's an interesting movie. He's definitely the the antagonist of the film, but I don't know that I'd disagree. Ca- I don't think I'd classify him as the villain by any means. If I'm honest with myself, I think more of a broken character is how I would classify him because he's he's incomplete. Something in him is missing. And as you go through the movie, you find out what that what that missing piece is. A perfect example of a product of a broken world. Yeah, exactly. A story that pretty much wraps up our society in general at this point. Yeah, the pretentiousness, the greed, the avarice. The writing and cinematography for this film was perfect. The editing was phenomenal. All the overlays that they used, everything was very nice. The humor... With this film, you never knew what would be served up. And Ralph Fiennes, I mean, I already know he's won Academy Awards before, but if any movie deserves it, he deserves it for his portrayal in The Menu. From appetizer to main course to dessert, this film was delicious. Make sure to watch The Menu this Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening. This has been The Real Reapers.